Coach Sherry signs a three-year, $3 million a year contract with the Pittsburgh Penguins. This after I just made my Pens weekly news video for the first time, which saying that it might be a while before he signs. Thanks, Jim Rutherford. You really timed that one nicely. Anyway, this is uh, phenomenally amazing. Uh, it is a great contract, but before we get into that, I always like to compare the contract to how many of these they could buy. This time I chose McDonald's Big Macs, however, I found it very impossible to find how much a Big Mac costs in Pittsburgh. So, I'm now forced to do this. Good morning, Yeah, hi, I was just wondering how much a Big Mac costs. Excuse me? I was just wondering how much a Big Mac costs. Hold on, please. This has cost me a shitload of money to do this. Hope you all appreciate it. She's asking. Hello. Hello. Four thirty-nine plus tax. For how much is it with tax? Add on the four thirty-nine plus tax. So plus probably like twenty to tax. Okay. Probably like 459, something around there. 459. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You're welcome. What the hell is with this whole not telling us what the tax thing is? I don't I never get America where you just can't find out how much something costs. Alright, 439 plus tax. So now I have to figure out the goddamn tax rate. Oh, it's different everywhere. Of course it's fucking different. Goods tax in Pen in Pittsburgh. I oh, know it's gonna be Pennsylvania, but. 7%, okay, so 439, oh my god, 430, <laughs> this is way more math than I thought it would be, times 0 0.07, equals 30 cents, okay, so she was off, the lady working at McDonald's was off, 469 is how much a Big Mac costs, roughly, so Connor Sheary, after all of that, can buy Six hundred and thirty nine thousand six hundred and fifty eight point eight Big Macs. Not sure what the point eight Big Macs is. I don't know if you have like a junior Big Mac. Here in Australia we had that for a little bit, but it wasn't really a thing. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of Big Macs. So I'm going to tweet him out and see if he wants to buy me a Big Mac. Because Doomler didn't end up buying me a car. Anyway, let's actually get into some sort of analysis before <laughs> for like McDonald's. Um, this is a really good deal. Uh, three years at $3 million. I was saying this so much beforehand that if he went on Kunitz money and Kunitz went away, sad that Kunitz left, that that would be aces. And the fact that we got him on a cheaper deal is even better, especially, especially when you look at... Victor Arvidsson, who got a very similar season, uh, ended up getting $4.25 million a year for six years. So this not only locks us with a very small amount of term in case he gets injured or something happens, there's also no risk with money and cap it. And this means we can go third sh center shopping. <laughs> so really good effort. I mean, it's great for Shearer. If he can give his production up, it means at the end of these three years, this kid is getting paid, son. And I mean, $3 million isn't that bad. If you even take out taxes and everything, you're still making a lot of money. So, I mean, it's great. I mean, we don't know where Shiri's really going to fit. I mean, he's probably going to play with Crosby as long as he kind of gets out of that slump, which I'm hoping was just a slump, and I think it might have been in the playoffs. It kind of gives us space. I mean, we've got Sprong coming up. We've got a few other things. So where he's going to fit, you know, you don't really know, but I think he's going to be a really good contributor, and at $3 million, it is bargain money for him. I was really worried he was going to get four and a half to five, and that would have really stretched our budget. But now, now we have about three point two million dollars to play with to go get Bozak. I mean, a third line center. Sorry, excuse me. Um, <laughs> God, my jokes are so lame. <laughs> anyway, go out and get a third line center, so it gives us a bit of space. But well done, Shiri. I think we can all clap. We got Dumoulin and Shiri locked up. Uh, I'm very happy with this contract. Uh, so what did you think of the Shiri deal? Do you like it? I, I don't think many people are hating it. I'm looking online, there's very few people that are, that are hating it. Uh, yeah, so comment down below what you think. Otherwise, if you like this video, hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed, especially if you're a McDonald's fan, because, I mean, I talked about McDonald's more than I talk about Shiri this one. Uh, special thanks to uh, the McDonald's on uh, Forbes Avenue, 3708 Forbes Ave. 
Uh, you're very helpful, actually. Uh, especially, I know that some people really struggle to hear what I say on the phone because of their accents. So yeah, very helpful. Thanks a lot. Uh, if you are in Forbes Avenue, go into that McDonald's and say that Brenton sent you. Um, you won't get any discount, or they'll have any idea who I am, but I think it's hilarious that if people do that, so do that. Um, anyway, that is the whole video. I uh, tweeted out, by the way, if you do it, because, again, just hilarious. Um, I have the weirdest sense of humor. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, it's a bit of a shame that it came after my news. I would have loved to sort of wrap this up there. But anyway, that's a lot of Big Macs that he can buy. Tweet him out for Big Macs. Connor Sheary, hashtag Big Macron. Big Big Mac payday. I, I don't know what you'd hashtag it with. Uh, I'm a bit loopy today. I've had a beer. Anyway, guys, thanks you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you and bye. I'm now tweeting Sheary. Glad to see you have signed. Congrats on the deserved uh, pay rise. Can you buy me a Big Mac?